Hi, I'm Robin Hampton, Interpretive Park Ranger at Zion National Park. On behalf of the park staff, I'd like to welcome you to Zion and invite you to join us in 2009 as we celebrate the park's 100th birthday. Zion's Century of Sanctuary is a commemorative year-long celebration which has already begun. It's one you won't want to miss. In the early years, Zion Canyon was a remote and little-known place. Early explorers such as John Wesley Powell, government surveyors, and artists such as Thomas Moran and Frederick Dellenbaugh introduced this magnificent canyon to the world. Dellenbaugh's paintings appeared in the St. Louis World's Fair in 1904, and fairgoers were incredulous that such a place could really exist. These early paintings and written accounts of this stunning landscape enchanted the public and led to a movement to preserve Zion Canyon for the benefit and enjoyment of the people. Zion National Park first came into existence on July 31, 1909 as Mukuntaweep National Monument as a result of a presidential proclamation set forth by President William Howard Taft. So a portion of Zion Canyon became a park even before the formal establishment of the National Park Service in 1916. In 1918, President Woodrow Wilson changed the name of the National Monument to Zion, and on November 19, 1919, the monument became a national park, adding more acreage and offering more protection. In 1920, the park had almost 4,000 visitors, but in the decades that followed, Zion's magic affected millions. Last year alone, 2.7 million people hiked, photographed, and enjoyed the park's gentle oasis in this massive ancient desert. Looking back at 100 years of our rich history, it's easy to understand why so many individuals have been drawn to the canyons and plateaus of Zion National Park. 2009 sets in motion a new century by honoring those people, places, and events who have contributed so much to the park's success. Several centennial events are still to come, including a century of sanctuary, highlighting Hollywood movies filmed in and around Zion. The 100th anniversary ceremony on July 31st at the original Grotto Museum. Centennial themed ranger led programs throughout the summer. Locally featured fine artist paintings, photographs, and replicated prehistoric artifact exhibitions, and an employee reunion in October. Zion National Park is being honored with the U.S. Postal Service postage stamp in 2009, and Utah residents now have the opportunity to purchase a special Zion National Park license plate. Zion National Park, a century of sanctuary forever preserving the integrity and soul of a special place while honoring the history and future of its people. You are its future. Discover it for yourself. We look forward to seeing you soon.